Here we have an example of a group of students going to buy some sweets. Now they want to share the payment and the sweets evenly. And then they want to donate any remaining sweets. So we need to first ask how many sweets do they need. So sweets is equal to int because we need the whole number. And then input to ask the question and then we say how many sweets do you need. Now we need to create another variable called students and then we need to ask for the number of students so int again it has to be a whole number because you can't have half of half a person um, input to ask a question and enter the number of students and then we close the double brackets and then we also need to ask how much the total suites cost so for cost we create a variable called cost and we set it to float. Now, the reason we set it to float is because it could be pounds and pence, so it could be a decimal number. Now, float can hold decimal numbers, integer cannot. So we use float and then input to ask the question and we say, um, enter the total cost. Now it says calculate how much each student need to pay. So cost each. So this is the variable for each person and then we set it to, uh, we need to do a bit of calculations. So we need to use the cost, so the total cost, and we need to divide it by the number of students. So cost divided by students. Now this way we get the number of each, so how much each student will need to pay evenly. And it says calculate how many suites each student receive and how many suites will remain. Now for that we need to use div. So div will always round down. So ask how many each student, uh, so how many each students will receive. So um, suites each equals to and then we set it to a suites number and then we use double slash and then we do students. Now the double slash will divide the number of suites by students and it will round it down. So it cannot have half a suite. Then we need to do the um, final, which is how many suites will remain. So suites, um, suites remaining is equal to, and then for that we use the modulus. So suites and then modulus students. Now this will divide suites by student and we'll find how many remains. Okay, now if I run this, uh, firstly we need to display them, um, display everything on the screen. So cost, e so we can say cost each and then cost each just so it makes more sense to do it in full sentences. And when, oh, so suites each, and then use the same variable. And then suites, oh, we need to print it as well to display on the screen. And then suites remaining. And then we use the variable name suites remaining to get the actual number. Now we need to run it. So let's say, how many suites do you need? So let's say I want 10 suites. So how many students do we have? Uh, let's say we have nine students. Then enter the total cost. I'm gonna put it as 15.5 pounds. So it says cost each 1.722 and then switch suites each so each one will get one suite and then suites remaining there will be one remain because we have 10 suites and then we have nine students so each student will get one each and then one will remain so um, we're just missing the pound sign as well so we can just put it for the cost we can just put it here just so it makes a bit more sense